I think it's time. Our environment influences everything. And today, I'm going to take you through three distinct places and environments that have influenced me in my coffee journey. Now, coffee, like humans, is influenced and transformed through a unique life cycle. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how it is. But first, I'll get started on some espressos for you. Now, the coffee I'm serving you today is from a producer who has been influenced by wine and beer fermentation, and his name is Wilton Benitez. His farm, Granja Paraíso 92, is located in Cauca, Colombia. Now, Wilton has grown coffee his whole life. In the last seven years, he's been innovating practices at his farm to push the boundaries of what we can expect from delicious coffee. The coffee I'll be serving you today is a pink bourbon. Grown at just about 2,000 meters above sea level, this slows the cherry maturation to develop complex sugars. So judges, if you'll write down the tasting notes for today's coffee. You're going to taste cranberry, tart passion fruit, and hibiscus. It's going to have a silky texture, light to medium in weight. With a drying crisp finish. I'm going to give you drinking instructions today, so please wait to taste and go ahead and evaluate crema. There we are, please enjoy. Now I'm going to ask you to stir these espressos. 10 times back and forth before you enjoy those flavors of passion fruit, cranberry, and hibiscus. Please enjoy. Put your hands together for Jamie's Espressos. Now, just like Wilton was inspired by wine and beer fermentation and influenced by that environment in which he educated himself in, I too was influenced. Growing up in the UK, we had an abundance of delicious dairy. And I'm here to share some of that with you today. I met with my friend Gareth, a dairy farmer near Blackburn in Lancashire. We went together and researched and decided to freeze dry his milk. 
doing this process allowed the water to evaporate, and all that we were left with were milk crystals that consisted of fats, sugars, and proteins. And today I'll be using it to create an enhanced milk. We've seen freeze distillation on the competition stage before, and having been influenced by those environments of competition, I decided to push it a step further with this enhanced milk technique. The same dairy I consumed as a child comes together with our espresso today to create new flavors. You'll taste passion fruit candy, creme brulee, and custard, caramel custard, sorry. Now remember those flavor notes, the passion fruit candy, creme brulee, and caramel custard. Now wait for drinking instructions after I poured the last beverage. Please enjoy. Go, hope you enjoy. Now the drink instructions for your milk beverage. I ask that you sip under the crema to get that full passion fruit candy effect. Then take another sip just the same. And then go ahead and incorporate that crema and that top foam to the liquid beneath. Please enjoy. Now I wanted to bring together three places today. Columbia, the United Kingdom, and in North Carolina.
Thank you. So we started with Columbia, with our coffee from Wilton. And then we went to the UK with our milk. But now we're going to bring in North Carolina into the mix for our signature beverage while revisiting Colombia and the UK. I'm going to start by hyperchilling our espresso to bring down the acidity and heighten the sweetness. This will also have a cooling effect on our final beverage. Now I'm going to add three quarter ounces of a white chocolate and Lulo ganache. I made this using 20 grams of Lulo juice that I pressed myself as well as 20 grams of a North Carolinian white chocolate that I melted in a saucepan and then combined until homogenized. This will give the drink a creamy body as well as a new note of orange cream soda. To that, I'll add three quarter ounces of an apricot nectar I made with British apricots. I fermented for four days with equal parts sugar, water, and apricot. This will bring a new note of green apple. I'll quickly blend those together. I want you to enjoy these when I call time. I'm adding 20 grams of elderflower tonic because elder flower grows wild in the UK. This will create an effervescent mouthfeel and a new tasting note of nectarine. You're going to enjoy these in three sips, but no more than that. I hope I've influenced you today. Thank you so much for your time. Time. Give it up. Jamie Patel, Co-Tray Coffee Importers. Let's step over here, my friend. Wake Forest, North Carolina. That's, that's right. Up. That's right. So this is your first year competing, right? At Nationals, yeah. 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 And like so many baristas, it's a long road from prelims to qualifiers to Nationals. What was the most challenging thing in this whole competition year? And how did you overcome those challenges? I don't know if I overcame them, but honestly, just trying to find the time to, to practice and put in the time that this kind of thing requires. It, it takes an immense amount of time and, you know, between work and relationships with people, your family, like it's really hard to find the time to do it all. But I'm glad that I've made it this far. And, and you did a great job. Thank do you. you have any words of wisdom for anyone out there who is thinking about or considering competing? Take the time to be involved and just do the best you can and just enjoy yourself. Show, show people what you can do. 
What was your favorite part about the uh, presentation today? Just sharing coffee with special people. It's yeah. really great. I think your, your time's up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any shout outs you want to throw out there? Yeah, the uh, red ceramics that we saw in the first two courses, that was made by my really good friend, Joe Sink in oh, yeah, Hillsborough, Joe North Sink. Carolina. Yeah, yeah. And he was kind enough to sponsor me. So I appreciate him. My friend Jason Pack made some boards for me. So shout out to Jason Pack. Shout out to you and the black and white team for letting me use your space and your wisdom to train for this and um, give me your time and your opinions. Um, Juan Diaz is probably the person who pushes me the most in competition. So I appreciate him. Uh, the producer, Wilton Benitez, is here today. Thank you, Wilton, for your coffee. Yeah. And anyone out in the audience, thanks for being here. I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, give it up one more time. Jamie Patel, co-trade, importers. Thanks, dude.